and all the changes for us, what we can enjoy, and then we need to, when we need to batten down the hatches. Hi, Rand. Yeah, hey there, guys. Getting off to a much warmer start this morning. We're almost 20 degrees warmer compared to Monday morning at this time. We have some clouds out there. Temperature at the airport at 57 degrees, and the southwest wind coming in about 11 miles an hour. It's already 60 back out of run Terre Haute, 60 in Bloomington, 59 Muncie, and 53 in Kokomo. We head through the day today, some morning clouds, 8 o'clock, 56, and we should become partly sunny and breezy. Noon temperature is 63, and by 5 o'clock, our temperature all the way up to 74 degrees. And highs today, uh, low to mid-70, 74 here, 75 Columbus, 75 Bedford, and 73 in Greencastle. Here in the city, 74 forecast high. That is running uh, 6 degrees above average, and the record high for today, that is at 86 degrees. Now, as we check out radar, a little band of diminishing rain showers up north and south of us here. I can't forget about our viewers down or south, uh, not too far from Linton, south of Bedford, a few showers near Salem. And also up north here, uh, you get up to around Kokomo, uh, north of Muncie, perhaps around Harper City, some light rain. South Bend, the rain is south of you. Our big weather makers back on the Plain States, that's a strong cold front. That's going to whip through here later this evening with a band of rain and some thunderstorms. So we head through the day today. Morning cloud cover, those showers should get out of here. We'll become partly sunny during this afternoon. Notice by 7 o'clock, though, there is a line of thunderstorms developing across parts of southeast Wisconsin, Illinois, down across parts of Missouri. We go through the evening hours this is by 7 o'clock tonight. Those thunderstorms should weaken as they do move into central Indiana. This is a map by 9 o'clock tonight, and it should be approaching the metropolitan area around midnight or so. Again, the thunderstorms are weakening. Now, as we head through the evening hours, we'll keep it dry, 7 o'clock, 9 o'clock this evening, and then by 11 o'clock tonight, some rain, some thunderstorms. And there is a marginal risk out for some severe weather across about the, uh, the western third of the state. Now, overnight tonight, here's a map by midnight. Again, showers and thunderstorms likely from midnight right on through the morning drive tomorrow. I think the morning drive tomorrow morning is going to be a wet one. Watch out for perhaps some ponding on the roadways. Temperature still not bad, though, in spite of the rain tomorrow. Lows in the 50s tomorrow. A windy, much cooler day out there. Steady rain during the morning. Should become more scattered tomorrow afternoon. And it will be a windy day and a much cooler day as well. Uh, Temperature-wise here, we'll have readings in the 50s. And as we head through uh, tomorrow night, again, rain showers will continue. Rainfall potential, half inch to maybe an inch of rain possible. That's up until 7 o'clock tomorrow evening. And high temperatures tomorrow, upper 50s and lower 60s. 58 here and 63 in Shelbyville. Thursday, it's going to be a mostly cloudy, breezy, cool day out there. Some morning showers should end. May have some breaks in the cloud cover by later Thursday afternoon. And high temperatures even cooler come Thursday afternoon, right around 55 degrees. Now, as we head through the next several days, your Chapman Heating, Cooling, Plumbing 8-day forecast, we go from 55 degrees on Thursday, 65 degrees on Friday, 75 degrees on Saturday. Saturday looks absolutely fantastic. Scattered thunderstorms around on Sunday, 72, dry Monday, and then scattered thunderstorms returning on Tuesday of next week. So it is a roller coaster ride here, Steph. Up and down we go, but great timing for the weekend. Highs in the 70s on both Saturday and Sunday. Yep, just thinking that. Thank you there, Randy, for the